Hey everyone, so with the release of the new 1.5 preview version of ML.NET, you get a couple of cool things. And one thing I want to highlight in this video is something that was new in that release called the Expression Transform. And we'll go over more into what that does as we go through it. But first, let's get started here with some code. And I'm in a blank .NET Core console project, and I will install the pre-release of ML.NET here. Like I mentioned, it's 1.5 preview. All right, and in terms of the data sets, I'm just gonna add some fake data as we go, just to kind of show you mainly the ex expression transform uh, instead of messing with the data. So the first thing, like always, is to create a new ML context. And let's get a new list. And it's gonna be just fake data. So I'll put salary input as our input schema. And I'll create a new file. And in here, I'm just gonna have a few different types here that may represent something, something related to salary. And the first one is gonna be a float uh, user's experience. The second one is going to be a boolean that says if they're um, if the employee is a manager. The next one is going to be a string. It's going to be their their title, their job title. And last, I'm doing integer. And I add number of teams managed. And this is going to be related to the is manager boolean. So if this is true, we're going to have a number of teams managed. All right, with our input schema set. Let's add a few, some new items here, and I'll just paste these in here. So the first one here is not a manager. It has one year of experience in their developer. The second one is they are a manager. They have nine years of experience. They're a director, and they have two teams that they manage. The last one is not a manager. Four years of experience, and they are an analyst. So with that, we need to create an odd data view based on the enumerable. So we use the context that data load from enumerable. Just pass that in. So now let's create some expressions. And these are all going to be transforms here. The first one, we use a transforms that expression. And this takes in a few parameters here. The first one is going to be kind of the output name of your of your expression. I'm going to do a couple of these to kind of show different things that you can do with them. The first one I do is called a square root. I'm just going to square root and give that an output. The next parameter is going to be the string of our expression. Now the expressions here are going to be the same as Lambda expressions that you may be familiar with in C-sharp. And if you are, this is going to be pretty easy to pick up. But if not, then hopefully I'll explain it in a way where it, it makes sense. So the first part of the expression, as in a, in a Lambda expression, is going to be your, your parameters, your inputs to the expression. With our square root output, I'll have only one input, and I'll name it x. You can name it whatever you want to. I'll do the arrow function. And the expressions, they come with several several methods that you can use. And since this is a square root output, I use the square root method, and I'll pass in the input. And then the next, you have a parameter string array of column inputs. This is where you can tell the column names that you want to use as the output. So here I'm going to use years experience. And so the years of experience column those values are going to be put into this expression as the input parameter. So that's one expression. Let's append another one, and you can append as many as you want to. This next one is I'll output the teams managed. And this is going to have two inputs. And again, you can name these whatever you want. I'll use X and Y. 
And with those inputs, I'm going to say if x is true, I use the ternary expression here. So if x is true, I'll output y. If it's not true, I'll just output 0. And then my inputs, the first input I'm going to use is the is manager thing. But instead of using the straight string or the column name, you can do something else by using the name of keyword here. And we can use the salary input that is manager property. So it just gets the, the name of this property, which is just going to be the string representation of the property name. And I'll do the same thing for my second parameter. We're just going to be salary input that number of teams managed. And let's do one final expression here. This one, I'm going to do two lower outputs. So I'm going to take a string, the title here, and I'm just going to make it all two lower. So we input it with a capital first letter. When our output is going to be all lowercase. And for our expression, we take in a single input and we use a lower method and pass it into it. And we use the salary input, a title is our input column. All right, so that's our expression pipeline. We have to do a couple other things here. Next, we have to fit and transform our input data to use these expressions. So on the pipeline here, we call fit on our data. And then we'll go ahead and transform that data based on that expression model. And this gets transformed into an odd data view. And I want to take it from an odd data view to an, an enumerable so I can loop through it. So I do context that data that create enumerable. And like with our machine learning models, we have an input schema class. We also need an output schema class. I'll name this expression output and I'll define that in a second. First, I will finish this line here. I'll give it the expression transformed data and I'll tell it to we use row object of false. Now let's create this expression output file class. And in here, I'm just pretty much going to create, this pretty much is just a class that encapsulates these output column names. So the first is going to be integer teams managed output. Then I do a float of the square root output. Then I'll do a string of the two lower outputs. So now that we have our enumerable of our transformed data, let's loop through these. So in each expression and expression data. I'm going to go ahead and do a console.reline so the terminal doesn't disappear when we run it. So now I can output my expressions. The first one I'll do is the square, square root. And that's going to be expression that square root output. And I'll copy these down. The next one is going to be the teams managed. So teams managed output. Then the last one is going to be two lower. And then use the two lower output. And for this last one, I will just do an environment at new line to kind of make it a little bit easier to read. All right, so let's run this and see what we get here. So kind of messed up here. 
in our expression we said square squared root out uh, used to be output so squared root output and this needs to match our output class here let's run that again Oop, messed <laughs> messed up and once I updated the the class I have to update the property here and apparently I didn't finish the new line there we go all right so let's see let's compare it back to our original data here so square root of one is going to be one teams manage is zero because is manager is false to lower developer which is lower case developer so square root of nine is three teams manage is two because we have numbers number of teams two in is manager is true and square root of four is two and teams manage is zero because is manager is false again and then both of these have the titles have two lowers as well all right so that's kind of a, a brief introduction to the the new expression transform i will link to a document file in the mod.net repository that gives a, a whole bunch more information including all the, the things that you can do with the expressions as well as well as all the functions that you can use besides square root and lower there are tons of others that you can use all right i uh, hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see y'all next time thanks